welcome to Cooking with Agnes Z. I'm your host, Agnes Z. Today we're at Drug Tea's famous deli making some delicious sandwiches. Welcome our guest, Arash. Arash is the franchise owner at Drug Tea's famous deli. And today he's going to share with us some delicious tips on how to make these yummy sandwiches. Welcome, Thank you. Arash. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Sandwiches is really one of my favorite foods to make because I think it's just so delicious and you can't mess it up it's as long as you have the right ingredients. You got it. As long as you got fresh ingredients, and uh, it's it's pretty much idiot proof. You like you said earlier. So. Yeah, I mean, like I've never made a sandwich that doesn't taste good from what I remember. <laughs> so, but there's still some tips and tricks to it. For instance, the combination of flavors. Oh, definitely yeah. a different combination of flavors. I mean, different things taste better with different uh, different items. And I see uh, you were eyeing that smoked salmon there a little earlier. So yeah. uh, why not do a smoked salmon? I think I was a kitty cat in my past life. I love salmon <laughs> so much, especially raw salmon. Well, this raw one fish. is amazing. It's a wild Pacific salmon. It's uh, it's delicious. So when we're doing a salmon, a smoked salmon sandwich, I would yeah. say do a multigrain bread. Mm -hmm. So I got a multigrain bread ready to go right here. Yeah, I think it's a contrast of flavor when it's a little bit nutty, a little bit smooth. You like, got yeah. it, you got it. You have the right idea. Mm -hmm. um, well, what we would first start off with is, is with our sauce and the with sauce? smoked salmon. Why uh, sauce first? I know it's why sauce because I know in McDonald's always sauce and then some the vegetable and then the meat, but why sauce? Well, when you're layering a sandwich, you want that sandwich to look as good as it tastes. So when you're layering up a sandwich, it's best to put the sauce first and then put the platter topping so you're layering it in a way that when you take a bite out of that sandwich, everything's not just going to fall out, right? So uh, you want it to look good why. and taste good. Does it kind of act like a glue to see it's kind of, it, it's <laughs> kind of It's kind of like a glue for the okay. lettuce and the, and the vegetables and the toppings. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Let's pick a sauce yeah, then. Let's pick a sauce. sauce so I would say here? do a dill sauce. A dill? Oh, yeah. Definitely salmon do a dill. dill. Salmon and dill, hand in hand. Can't go wrong. So I'm just going to yeah. grab the dill sauce let's real quick. It. And when, you, uh, when you're when you making a sandwich, you want to evenly spread out the sauce on both sides of the bread. Oh, we got a little extra there. That's okay. That's okay. It's just a sandwich. It's just you can't a sandwich. mess it up. Clean it up later. Oh, we'll clean it up later. Yeah. It's all going to the same place, right? So I would say do some lettuce. So we take a nice piece of leaf lettuce, uh -huh. a little bit of tomatoes, put a couple pieces of tomatoes on there, looking good. Yeah. A little bit of cucumber. What are those? Are those capers? Those are capers. Capers and smoked salmon? Definitely. Let's do it. Definitely, definitely. So put a little bit of cucumber on there, some capers because you like them. And we'll put the capers on the other side with the sauce. Why? This act, acts like glue, right? Oh, uh, yeah, because it's glue. You got it. Yeah, I just think um, something sour and creamy tastes really good with capers. Oh, it olives. tastes amazing. It tastes yeah. amazing. So we'll get a couple pieces of smoked salmon here. We'll take it right off, put it right on there for you. And we're missing one important part. Um, I think pepper. Pepper? Beautiful. No, I'm talking about black pepper. Black pepper, I love black it. Black pepper and smoked salmon. It goes yeah. hand in hand. Love the what flavor. What else? What were you thinking that we were I thinking? was thinking cheese. You're missing some cheese. Yeah, because we're missing some creamy. Yeah, normally smoked salmon you would do with something uh, something along the lines of cream cheese, yeah. like a cream cheese and lox, like a nice breakfast sandwich, yeah. but we're doing more of a dinner sandwich dinner here. Sandwich? So okay. I would suggest do a brie cheese with it, because the brie cheese and smoked gouda, when you do two things that are smoked, so smoked salmon and smoked gouda, when they go hand in hand together, too smoky? It's, too, it's too smoky, too smoky. you know? It'll contrast too much. So <laughs> you want to mix it up a little bit. So we'll grab a nice slice of brie cheese. We'll open it up right brie there. Brie cheese is mild. Oh yeah, it's a milder cheese. cheese. Set it up right there, and voila! Yay, delicious. Oh, do we toast the bread, or is this not necessary? Ah, well, when you're doing a smoked salmon oh. sandwich, I would say don't toast the bread because no. it doesn't need it. All that flavor is in the, in the salmon itself, so you okay. don't want to ruin the bread by uh, by toasting it. But if we're doing a hot sandwich, say a corned beef or a roast beef sandwich, definitely either toast the bread or do what uh, do what I do. I uh, butter it up and I pop it on the grill. So mm. it's kind of like a grilled cheese mixed with a corned beef or a roast beef together in one. Ah, you get great. best of both worlds. Okay, let's. Uh, how about we stop talking and try slicing it up? Let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. This is my favorite part because uh, I think. Slicing sandwiches, it just makes when you slice it, it looks so pretty inside. Everything is layered. Mm. Bite into it. How 
that was it. Oh, I see why you told me not to toast the bread. You got it's it. It's so much better with softer bread. You got it. And that flavor is right there too, right? It's not going to be good with the hot bread because... You got it. Uh, okay. And that's why. Mmm. Papers is nice with the salmon. And you're right, the cheese is not too overpowering because yeah. it's a brie cheese. Absolutely. See, this is the this is the reaction I get from most of my customers when they walk in. As soon as they take that bite, that's it. It's all bets are off after that. Yeah. Even though you can be creative, but there are some guaranteed no fail recipe over Definitely. there. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, I see why we didn't use smoked cheese. Because if it's smoked, you're not gonna be able to taste the smoked salmon. You much. got it, absolutely. Ah. See, quick learner, I love it. 